In this video tutorial, we will take a look at how to transcribe audio and video files with MaxQDA24. In MaxQDA24, we can either transcribe audio files automatically using the new automatic transcription feature, or manually create transcriptions of audio and video files directly in MaxQDA. In this video, we will take a look at both options and start with the automatic transcription feature. The new feature for automatic transcription is part of our AI Assist add-on, which can be purchased via our online shop. After we have imported our audio or video files into MaxQDA, we can right-click on the document in the Documents window and select Transcribe automatically with MaxQDA transcription. Then, this window will take us to the MaxQDA transcription website. Here, we can now upload our file for transcription. To transcribe audio files, you can purchase minute packages from our shop. However, to start out, we give you 60 minutes for free. Up here, you can see how many minutes remain on your budget. We will now start the transcription by uploading our first file. In order to increase transcription accuracy, we can now also add our own vocabulary of special words or phrases here. Furthermore, we can add the pronunciation of words. And when we click this button, the transcription will start and the progress is displayed here. Once the file is transcribed, we can download the finished transcript via this button here. This transcript is optimized for MaxQDA, and all we need to do now is switch over to MaxQDA and link our audio file to the transcript. Now let's take a look at how to transcribe audio and video files manually in MaxQDA. In the Import tab, we can find the appropriate import options for audio and video files, and we can now import our files by clicking this button. To start transcribing, we right-click on our audio or video file in the Documents window and select Transcribe Audio Video File from the Context menu. MaxQDA then automatically switches to Transcription mode. In this mode, we will see the audio file displayed in the Multimedia Browser at the top. Below the Multimedia Browser, we can see a Document Browser window into which we can type our transcription. And in the Transcription Settings window, we can adjust the settings for our transcription. We can now play the recording by pressing F4 or clicking the play icon. Thank you for participating in our interview. In our study, we are particularly interested in your work-life balance and well-being. If we press F4 again, the recording will be paused. Meanwhile, we can start transcribing in the document browser by typing in what we hear in the audio file. When we press F4 again, MaxQDA jumps back a few seconds in the recording so that we can listen to the last segment again and compare it with our transcript. We can adjust this rewind interval in the transcription settings. And if we click on this icon here in the multimedia browser, we can additionally bring up the control panel that allows us to adjust the volume of the audio file at the playback speed. In our study, we are particularly interested in your work-life balance and well-being. In the following, I would like to pose some questions regarding your daily routines. First of all, could you describe a typical workday in your life? Here, the interviewer has asked a question, and there is a speaker change coming up. If we activate the automatic speaker change function in the transcription settings, a timestamp is now set when we press Enter. When we do this, the corresponding abbreviation is inserted along with the new timestamp. In order for MaxQDA to correctly recognize the speaker changes, I have placed an I for the interviewing person at the beginning. Now we press F4 again and listen to the answer of the interviewed person. Describe a typical workday in your life. Well, a typical workday in my life. If we want to transcribe focus groups with MaxQDA, we can also define multiple speaker abbreviations, which we can edit in the transcription settings. Here, we also have the option to insert text modules, for example, to indicate certain occurrences in our audio or video files. 
With F6, we can insert additional timestamps manually. However, we have to make sure that the order of timestamps in the transcript is analog to the order of timestamps in the audio file. The timestamps now connect the audio file and the transcript. If I click on one of the timestamps in the transcript, the audio file will be played from that point. Thank you. How flexible is your schedule? It is. By clicking on this icon, we can also display the timestamps in a list view and then start annotating them, for example, to create summaries. Transcribing video files basically works the same. The only difference is that with video files, the video is also displayed in the multimedia browser. And when the transcription is finished, we simply close the transcription by closing the multimedia browser. And now we can continue working with the transcript in our MaxQDA project, code it and analyze it using the wide variety of MaxQDA's features. And that's it! You can find further video tutorials right here on our YouTube channel or on our website. We wish you all the best for your project. 您的直觉，我们的软体买正版软体找齐全企业有限公司，同一编号二八七九三九六七，所有产品皆享咨询，直源即保固，并可开立二联式或三联式发票。Cheer Chain Enterprise distributes and sells software with the aim of offering clients guidance. When choosing software, as well as technical support, 